With this dress, I want to really take advantage of using my light and dark values to create a slimmer figure and waistline. So for example, if I were to put this cream color around the midsection, it's lighter and brighter, which is going to make this area look a little bit whiter. But instead, for this dress, I'm going to use the darker value up around the midsection. And what this will do is to kind of visually contract the waistline area, causing that to look a little bit slimmer. And then using the cream color towards the bottom half of the dress will make that area even look a little bit wider and a little more flowy and exaggerated. And then I'll also use some of the cream color up around the neckline to draw attention to the eyes and to the face. I'm designing this dress with a V neckline and a wide waistband. It will be fitted at the waist. It will have full sleeves that are gathered at the top as well as at the wrist with a delicate cuff. The skirt will be gathered at the waistline and come down nice and full into a secondary ruffle to take advantage of all five yards of fabric that I have to work with. I used an existing dress pattern for the blouse bodies and sleeves. I was careful when placing the pattern pieces so the flower print would end up just above the bust line. I used a gathering stitch on the top of the sleeve to add a little shape and some easier movement when wearing the dress. Once the bodice was complete, I used the remainder of my fabric for the skirt. Since I only have four yards of fabric, I wanted to use every spare linear inch for the fullness of the skirt. I used a gather stitch to adjust the width of the skirt to the width of the bottom of the blouse. I rummaged through my button tin to find two small buttons for the front closure of the dress. My mom gave me this button tin, which I think her mom gave to her. So honestly, I have no idea how old some of these buttons are. I am thrilled with how this dress turned out. I actually split it in the back so that it could either be worn just flat as is, or with the split, it allows us to get some more movement our use of dark and light values was really effective in creating a very slim silhouette. You know, there's this nice brightness and interest up around the neckline, but then we've got our brighter color is down around the bottom, which makes the dress look even fuller. And then we've kept our darker value here around the waistline, so it's just very slimming on the figure. I have lots of ideas of how to photograph this dress, so I cannot wait to get started. For my daughter's photo shoot, I really wanted to showcase the vintage rose flowers in the dress. So I styled her hair in long wavy curls and created a crown of vintage roses for her hair. I simply hot glued large alligator clips to the back of artificial flowers to create the crown. She wore a simple taupe slip under the dress and I photographed her on my pink velour backdrop. My ballerina wore a white leotard under the dress with her pink point shoes. Thankfully, she wore an older pair of point shoes, so it didn't matter that they got a little soiled in our beautiful garden location. Photographing a dancer as talented as Alexandria is an absolute dream. Not only is she an elite athlete, but she is able to create artistry in motion. For my photo shoot, I went for a modern contemporary look. For my first outfit, I wore a pink pencil skirt with a simple white t-shirt under the dress paired with tall suede boots. For my second outfit, I paired the dress with a pink t-shirt and a really fun pair of red faux leather pants. I wore a pair of fabulous heels from Elle that have a vintage rose pattern and wore a pink mini pearl necklace. I used my white screen backdrop with a backlight. Wearing the pants under the dress allowed for a lot of fun movement and took advantage of the transparency of the fabric. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more behind the scenes videos like this one, please click the subscribe button. This outfit is part of my studio wardrobe and is available to all my portrait clients. I devote all of my experience, resources, and energy to help my clients feel as amazing and confident as they're going to look. And if you'd like to learn more about scheduling a photo shoot with me, please click on the link to my website below.